The astronauts are connected to each other by light ropes of length L, and let's say that each astronaut has a mass of 2m initially. They start in a square formation which is rotating about the whole system's centre of mass, with an angular speed omega naught. This means that each astronaut moves along the same circle. The tension in the ropes, it's called F in this case, provides a centripetal force required to keep them moving in this circle. Suddenly, two of the astronauts at opposing corners drop their tools, and they go from having mass 2m to having mass n. Now initially, the centripetal force is equal to 2m, omega naught squared, r, where r is the distance of each astronaut from the centre of mass. In the instant after the tools are dropped, the rotation speed will still be the same, and the centripetal force will still be 2m omega naught squared r. This is greater than the force required to keep the KLS astronauts moving in the same circle at the same angular speed. So something has to change. But because the system has some symmetry, even after the tools have been dropped, we have to preserve this in the final state. We also know that the ropes need to be taut to keep the astronauts revolving. So let's suppose that the final state is a rhombus. Let's also say that the angle between the horizontal and the line connecting the two different kinds of astronauts is theta, that the tension in the ropes is T, that the astronaut of mass m rotates at big omega, and that the astronaut of mass 2m rotates at little omega. From here, we just need to consider the centripetal force on each astronaut, and think about what needs to happen for the rotation to be stable.